Southern Italy is a vast region that includes Abruzzo, Apulia, Basilicata, Campania, Calabria, Molise, and Sicily. Sardinia may also belong to this region, but the island has less in common with the rest of Southern Italy and has different characteristics, culture, and tradition. When it comes to tourism, Southern Italy has some absolutely magnificent coastline, picturesque beaches, charming coastal islands, and many historic towns and cities. Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss 10 best places to visit in Southern Italy. So without further ado, let's dig in. Number 1. Lex. Lexi is affectionately called the Florence of the South due to its wealth of gorgeous historic buildings. Important sites are the beautiful Church of Santa Croce, the Cathedral, the Lex Castello, and the ancient Roman Amphitheater. In addition, Lex has several beautiful squares, such as Piazza del Duomo and Piazza Santa Ronzo. If you're not interested in historic buildings, you can relax in the sublime Villa Comunale Gardens or explore excavations at the Fagiano Museum. Number 2. The Amalfi Coast Stretching from Naples to Salerno, the Amalfi Coast offers dramatic landscapes, beautiful mountain towns, and some interesting historical sites. This protected area has several idyllic coastal towns such as Amalfi, Erci, Minori, and Positano. These towns are lined with brightly colored houses perched on hillsides, making for great photo opportunities. In addition, sites such as Villa Rufolo in Ravello provide unrivaled views across to the Mediterranean Sea. Number 3. Pescara. Pescara is one of the northern cities in southern Italy, located on Italy's western Adriatic coast. The city has a large harbor, perfect for strolling around and admiring the variety of fishing and sailing vessels. The suspension bridge shares biking and walking paths along its entire length. Pescara, on either side of the harbor, has two long golden pristine beaches. These beaches are packed with amenities and spots perfect for sunbathing and relaxing. Number 4. Sorrento. Sorrento is the perfect combination of a designated resort town and a tourist-friendly old Italian town. Easily accessible by train from Naples, it offers both amenities that tourists find useful and unique high-quality antiques for sale in the historic center. A ferry leads from here to the Isle of Capri, and it is a great jumping-off point for Pompeii. Sorrento is also known for its excellent gourmet cuisine, stunning clifftop dwellings, although it doesn't have a beach, and stunning views of Mount Vesuvius. Number 5. Albero Bello. This fairy tale city is one of the world's finest examples of Trullo architecture. Truly, houses are known for their conical stone roofs made without mortar. These dry stone buildings are made from local limestone. None older than the 14th century, houses can be found in the Itria Valley in Poglia. But Albero Bello is the only town that features this type of architecture. Visitors here can also stay in Trullo homes drink in Trello bars, and shop in Trello shops. Number 6. Sassi di Matera Coming from a prehistoric settlement, Sassi is one of the first human settlements in Italy. Many of the houses carved in tufa rock are actually just caves, and some streets of the Sassi are often above the roofs of other houses. These dwellings were inhabited by farmers and their livestock until the 1950s. Today, the jumble of stone buildings and caves within them are a haunting and beautiful place. Number 7. Palermo. In fact, Palermo, the capital of Sicily, 
occupies an important place in the history of this southern archipelago. It is the economic and cultural center of Sicily, and home to some of the island's most important landmarks. Palermo's Archaeological Museum details the history of the city and the islands, and contains artifacts and relics dating back to Roman times. Palermo has some great markets and plenty of places to find a bargain with the locals. Number 8. Naples. Naples is the third largest city in Italy. To some, it's huge, dirty, criminal, and crumbling, to others, it's edgy and atmospheric. This southern coastal town definitely has a personality of its own. Many popular Italian dishes, such as pizza and spaghetti, come from Naples and the surrounding area. These dishes are taken seriously here and consist mostly of fresh, local ingredients. Naples' attractions include Castel Nuovo, a massive medieval castle, and Castel Delovo, a coastal fortress. Number 9. Pompeii and Herculaneum. The most famous of these is Pompeii, whose ruins are widely visited. Archaeologists have found the bodies of 3,000 of his detainees from this town of 20,000 who had refused to flee and paid the price. Nearby is the smaller, more prosperous city of Herculaneum, which suffered a similar fate. It had a population of around 300, but the houses are worth a visit as they give a good idea of how the wealthy once lived and are worth seeing. Number 10. Brindisi. The city has an ancient history and was supposedly founded by the hero Diomedes. The first thing that strikes you about Brindisi is its wonderful harbor. The two-pronged body of water contain a large number of ships and stunning scenery. Second, if you go north of the city, you will reach Azola Sant'Andrea. This small island sits at the harbor opening and offers a stunning castle and stunning sea views. So guys, that's all for today's video. Which one of these places would you like to visit in Italy? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with more of your friends and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out any of our latest updates. Have a nice day and I will see you later.